Yo, 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 people. So, little uh, quick update. Today, I was working out in the garden and these showed up. That is our siding. So, that's a whole big project and uh, there'll be a whole video just on that, but that's coming. But here's what I was doing the uh, last two days and now here's what I got, the garden. So we're gonna, I, I tilled it up real good, measured it all out. We'll be looking, we got 10 rows. Each row is about 20 foot long. Uh, so after we tilled it real good, I raked it into the mounds. And then we've got some garden plastic or garden sheeting. And I'm gonna lay that over the top of these, stake them down. Um, and we're gonna let that stay covered for the next couple of weeks. That way, hopefully anything that's in there that's still alive, any little weed seeds or anything else that might wanna grow will die. And then we'll plant our little plants right into that mound. Watch them grow. Hopefully it'll work. Here's a quick look to show you what we got right now with our starts. So here's what we got. As you can see, they're growing vigorously, which is good. But we're going to be potentially running out of room in here, and we got to get them in the ground. See how these guys are already flowering. Those are cucumbers. And that's crazy because there's so many flowers popping up, which is each one of those is going to want to turn into a cucumber. Um, but you see the leaves are wilting and dying because they can't actually spread out. Uh, same thing with the lettuce. These lettuces are doing real good. They're getting pretty good size up here, but they got no more room to really fully... The roots can't spread, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the cabbages started growing real good, but they need to get thinned and put into a larger space because you can see they're starting to yellow and brown a little bit um these tomatoes down here they want to grow again they're getting to that point now where they're like running out of room in that little pot if we keep up potting and we run out of room here the peppers you see those are a later start uh we didn't start those about two weeks or three weeks after these and all this stuff. Um, that's the kale. And that kale is just getting crazy. It needs more room to you know, get bigger and grow full. Broccoli, same thing. It's starting to get real spindly. Needs more space and better light outside in the sunshine. Melons, you see they're starting to get little bit of browning on some of those leaves and things because again they're running out of room uh, problem is they are running out of room in here and we still have frost overnight um, this week they're calling for a wintry mix on Thursday I think it is which we can't put our plants out in the garden and then have a wintry mix falling down on them uh, they'll all be dead so we're gonna have to just take the risk and hope they don't hope they don't die on us or get too root bound inside those little pots and then as soon as it looks like we got decent enough weather that it won't freeze on them overnight, we'll get them transplanted.
so now my debate so I just covered each row 10 of them and my debate now is I have one more of these bags and a good chunk of that so I got enough that I can cover all of it including the walkways in between each row and so now I'm debating on should I do that or should I just leave it in the middle and just hold on to those other should I hold on to the rest of this garden plastic for a later date or should I put it down in between the rows and I'm thinking that I'm just gonna leave it as is save that for later because in between the rows I'm thinking I'll probably get wood chips or something um, probably run my wood chipper take a bunch of branches because I got a lot of branches all over the place that I can chip up and just lay those all down along the center and if a couple of weeds stick up through there no big deal right I don't know uh, but right now um, that's pretty much it I'm gonna put stakes along each row on both sides to keep them down because right now I just have it at the two ends and if wind picks up which it inevitably will it'll rip that stuff out no problem so I'm gonna go ahead and stake it all the way down nice and secure throughout and then that's it for now we'll uh, figure out the rest of it later all right thanks for watching see you on the next one